That child in your womb will be very exceptional. As a matter of fact, no one will be like him in your lineage. Hmm. He will be so great, even the great will call him great. He will be very rich. Even the rich will call him a rich man. Ah! He will be so honored. Even the honorable will call him honorable. Ah! Hmm. He will be so blessed that the blessed will call him blessed. He will be very brilliant. Even the intelligent will call him a genius. Hmm. What a child. I congratulate you. Yeah. Who is Gola Gade? The special child to be born. You mean he'll be named Gola Gade in your dad? Yes, yes. Huh? Gola Gade in your dad. What are you doing here? Okay, let's go. Let's go.
It's all right, sir. Thank you. Okay. Tony, where are you coming from, Delon? Did you go there yesterday? After Dr. Sean's visit? Tony, is your health not a priority to you? Of course it is. If it is not, I'll be spending fortunes to fight this ailment. Then why? Why what? Why do you keep smoking? <coughs> I can't help it. After Dr. Sean and the specialists have warned you on know, several occasions to quit smoking in your own interest. <coughs> I can't <coughs> help it. Even when it's killing you. I can't help it. What is so difficult in that? No, Cecilia. Why do you take a bottle of soda almost every day? What? You've noticed that with me? Your shadow follows you everywhere and sometimes goes ahead of you. Anyway, I take soft drinks because I like it and for energy. And I can put it to you that you can't just stop taking it every day. I can stop it if I decide. It's more than a mere decision. I meant determination. No, Cecilia. I've made several attempts to quit smoking to no avail. You know what? What controls us is beyond our control. What controls us is beyond our control. But I have reason for taking soda. So do I for smoking. It seems you don't know the addictive power of nicotine. But you've got to quit smoking. Otherwise, you will kill yourself. <laughs> if it hasn't killed me, it may never kill me. I only need your permission. So I make you smoke. Yes, if you permit me. How does that sound? Hmm? What? You are addicted to something. I'm also addicted to something. When you overcome your addiction for soda, I will believe you. But I'm not addicted. I'm not smoking. No, Cecilia. Let's forget about the baby. Let's talk about the content. We are both addicts. But what is wrong in taking soda? I mean, taking soft drinks. <coughs> the same view I have for smoking. You a nurse. And you are asking me about what's wrong with taking too much of sugar. But yours is pronounced. And it has been scientifically proven that smoking is injurious to your health. Everything is injurious to something. Stop defending yourself, my dear. Everybody is addicted to something. Even the Bible admonishes us that we should not take too much honey. So, what are you saying? The earlier you admit, the better for us. For us? Someone said, I freed a thousand slaves and I could free a thousand more only if they knew they were slaves. I'm done. It works. I want to register for that exam again. I can't be registering my, the exam with uh, my ardent money and then some people have seen that I'm, I'm transferring my results. But they cancel our results. Doesn't matter. I think doesn't matter. It's my just now part of what they cancel. But you are a brilliant girl. Brilliant? Where has that led anybody in this country? A lot of titles at our brilliant seniors. Where are they now? 
Nisha has sent them to something else. I'm done swearing. I will start business. Oh, business? Okay. Evolution is a pure waste of time in this country. I will figure out that myself. But we can never help. What evidence are you still waiting for? I'm done schooling. Wale, the teachers in this school are very strict. They don't condone any act of indiscipline. This is different from Onimeke Community Grammar School. The students here are serious minded people. So do the teachers. I won't disappoint you, Mom. I promise to be well behaved now that I have the privilege of attending a good school. Onimeke Community Grammar School used to be a very good school, at least in those days. It is the neglect that changed the story. But good old days can be brought back if the stakeholders are ready. But my son, please, let's see the principal. You keep saying men are heartbreakers and wicked. They are. Are you saying my husband too is wicked? Uncle Tommy seems different. He's a perfect gentleman. You are really lucky, Auntie. So what tells you there is not another two missing out there? You couldn't have been taken. You have taken one. Someone will have taken another one. That is if there is. They do. Auntie, how could a man be so mean to deny ever sleeping with me? A two grammars intervention for him to actually concede that he slept with me. But he said that there could have been more men that did it. So it wasn't responsible. They do. There you go again. We've overflowed this issue. Please, let it be for a while. But it almost ruined me. We thank God it didn't ruin your life. Now you are a nurse and have a good job. And the boy is also doing well academically. God has been so good to you there. But... But what? They do. You have to let go and let God. God has a very good plan for your life. But if you are not careful, you may hinder God's plan for your life. If you keep looking back at the past. I think I have overcome that. I don't think so. Because if you have, you won't go there again and again. Keep the past in the past and move on with your life. I have tried, but it's hard. I know it does. But the only way to totally overcome this is to learn to pray often. Pray? Yes. Nothing is too small to pray about and nothing is too big to pray about. Prayer moves mountain and there is nothing prayers cannot do. Really? Have you witnessed that before? Yes. Jesus says, Auntie, I want your own personal testimony. Okay. How long did it take us to have Iri after our wedding? Fifteen years. Prayers, patience, and seeking godly counsels help us to overcome that mountain. Was that a mountain? Though, mountain in that context may not necessarily mean a physical mountain. But, if needs be, prayers can be a physical mountain as well. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 7 says, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel, that shall be made a place? I understand your fear, my dear. Let's commit all our ways into the hands of God. And I know he will make it succeed. I believe God will guide you aright. Tony's case is close to John. But it's not complete. I know. We must do our best. Nothing but our best. A quick word. Okay, sir. Have you been to the lab today? No, sir. Why did you ask? Not even to check your results. 
Is there anything to worry about? I was there. And I saw the results. You know the normal sugar level should be between 75 and 115 milligram. Yours was 165 milligram. Really? Isn't it high time you stop taking sugar, soda, soft drinks the way you do? Your head first. <sighs> oh, doctor, I'm trying. But it seems there's something addictive about this drink. That won't let me go. Yeah. Perhaps deliberately included by the manufacturers to keep the customers coming. Maybe. But you've got to do whatever you can to liberate yourself. You know the implications, right? Meanwhile, I've got to place you on oribuglycemic. Net for me. Odi, 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 my guy, what is this up? How far now? I'm cool, and you? Cool out, of course. What is this up? I want to see what's in the apple. Anytime you see Odi come out of a toilet or from a solitary place, you no know, say you go do major or minor. Uh -uh. What's he go do? M A S T U R B a T I O N. Masturbation. Ah. It's in the eye. You don't tell us so you don't know. No. D, don't mind them. You don't see do that masturbation. But what difference does it make? Meaning. A D masturbate as frequently as a brief. But someone here can do it without pornography. I swear to God, all I will fire your mouth. Don't mind him. I see if you all don't know that you are alive. Oh no. Am I not better than you that lives with pornography? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, life for I'm not head of that too. Ah, uh, our sister is a real life photography. And just like Costa and Rogba Street. That is the passport. Oh, <laughs> of course, the Costa and Rogba that are life porn. No wonder. No wonder what? No wonder. No wonder his sister is a real life porn. She gets her inspiration from church. In that case, we are all in. What are we all in? That is, all of us are all addicts. Just some get their inspiration from church. In that case, they are anointed addicts. Why you belong to the class of dry addicts? Stop it! Enough of this nonsense. Why did my father become your mate? Then tell him to preach to less sermons now. Get out of your mind. Enough, enough, enough. They are less this class. Mammy, 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 
o tun wo luwa ninu anu re nigbati mo tun pari ile iwe o fi di mi kale si le ara mi ma mi owo ru e kun ko le le yi oro pe ni mo ru pa de wa le nko ma mi o ti lo le iwe so ko ri obi nu kekini si de wa le ma mi pe binu pe kini ngba ta ti jo soro ko to di pa wed ma mi ko binu de don ke ma so be o ah ori si la won okun o ti ri won di a yan mo kan ri ni kalu logo enu poku afomo ni yan se ah o se o o se o bank o o se mi oku toju mi o ma ki omo kun ni na se yan ma mi ma ki o se yan ma mi ma pele we Dedoka, <laughs> Uda si to se 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 ti opada mori dele Olorun sanu mi Mama je mi asa se danu bi kuda si Yeah I've got to do this I've just finished writing his referral letter I wonder why it's so difficult for him to complete Well I believe when he gets to the specialist hospital, he will be better care for. So, arrange his movement. You only did two rounds, and he's doing as if he has done one barbarati. Your mates are doing seven. You want today, don't worry. <sighs> you see, those days, we do say, the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> I shy not to work. He makes me to lie down in the green pastures. <laughs> but now, we say, King Alcohol and Sex is my shepherd. <laughs> I shy not to want. It makes me to spend my money and power. Preach it, Pastor. On ugly prostitutes. What? Are you insane? <laughs> what did I just say? Rewind. Am I a deep recorder? No, you are an HTM. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm an ATM. Yeah. I'm an ATM. <laughs> the spats. I spit money. <laughs> Take my wallet. Take my wallet. <gasps> Take it. Are you serious? That's my money. <laughs> you call me ATM. <laughs> wow. This is huge. Wow, hey, Golele, you want me back? Yeah. Wow. But wait, do you mean I should take everything? Just take it. 
taking everything. Ha! Huh? This girl has just taken everything. Nothing. All these girls are not using something against me. Hey, this is not ordinary. Oh. This is not ordinary. Oh. I made money from my business. Only to spend it on alcohol and sex. Oh, she has taken everything. Everything! She has taken nothing on me. Wale. Your mom and I have been praying for you for the past two days. For what time? Because I caught you red-handed in the bedroom, masturbating. Oh my God. Do you realize what you are doing to yourself? Um, yeah. We agreed that I should handle this. Wale, do you actually realize the implication of what you are doing to yourself? No, sir. It seems that you are already addicted and you need help urgently. Is it that dangerous? Well, any form of addiction can be bad and dangerous. But when you are addicted to masturbation, especially, it can have a long term effect on you and your relationship when you eventually get married. How? Because when you are addicted to masturbation, like a lot of people, you'll be forced to abandon your spouse on bed when you eventually get married. I hope you understand that. Partially, sir. You see, they derive temporary satisfaction from masturbation and neglect their spouse from whom they are supposed to derive this satisfaction. However, masturbation does not really satisfy. There are many other dangers of masturbation. But my focus now is how you'll be freed. Sir, I want to be freed. Sir, please help me. So it's now you want to be free? Holly. I'm sorry. Why do you think you should be free? It's embarrassing. How? My friend made just of me frequent because of it. Do they know that you masturbate? They do. I can't hide it from them. I can't just help it. Yes, I know you cannot help yourself. However, there is a power that can set you free. John H. 32 says, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. What is the truth? Jesus is the truth. John 14, verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Wale, the first step you need to be freed from masturbation and any form of addiction is to accept the truth that will set you free. Are you now ready to surrender the control of your life to Jesus so that he can take control of whatever controls you that is beyond your control? Ye ye yes, sir. Shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Why did you give to him? It is obvious this boy is very high. 
I said, what did you give to him? Nothing, sir. Miss Martin, I said, what did you give to him? Who gave you to him? You gave him like I said. Lacassera and what? I said Lacassera and what? Tell me. Thank you, sir. Uh, you had it, Tom Tom. To the Lacassera. Didn't you do that? Yes, sir. What air did you hire today? Shall I do something? Oh, 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 oh. You gave him a mixture of Tom Tom, Lacassera, and Chamador. Ah. Ah. This children. What has come over you? And how many days did you leave the mixture to ferment? Overnight. You left it overnight before giving to him. Yes, sir. <sighs> and then, um, what's the name? Sumulay. Sumulay. Okay. He was actually taking, you gave him only like a Sarah. Why, in the reasons of it, you gave him hard drug? Because this student needs to constitute hard drug. That's why we want you, this student, to be careful of the kind of things you collect from your friends, especially consumables. Ah! What did you call him again? Ah, okay, so you come and meet me in my office after now. Okay? Yes. What is inside this cable? What is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You think I'm a child? You think I don't know what I'm doing? I said, what did you do that piece of this paper? Drag the things. Hey! Hey! Drag So, you are actually experimenting with dry purple leaves that you will graduate to taking the book, to taking the book, to taking the LSD and Gaga. What is your name? Yeah, Robba Otiriagbati. And the two of you will have to come and see me. No, 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 not me. When this one is cool, when his head has come down, has come down, the three of you will have to come and see me in my office. I will show you perfectly. Let me, let me explain to you what you do with hard drugs. A lot of you don't know, don't know the, the, the danger inherent in the use of hard drugs. People tell you that, well, uh, hard drug will make you to be creative, it will give you intelligence, it will make you sharp, it will, it will, it will, it will make you mature. So you say, well, if you take hard drugs, you'll be mature. you make you mature. And some people go to the extent of saying that if you take hard drug, if you have menstrual pain, it will remove the menstrual pain. That is nothing but complete and total lie. Although, hard drug may give a relief, a very temporal relief. Very temporal. May give a relief from boredom. But at the end of it all, it will bring you down. Bring the person that takes you down worse than how the person started. But the truth of the matter is this. Hard drugs don't help anybody. 
rocks are poison. They destroy creativity and kill. Though a sad mind, they get a temporary relief. A suicide drug addict will tell you that they thought drug was actually the solution. Only to find out that drugs are actually the problem. I hope you have gotten my lesson on the abuse of drugs. Yes. But that's not what can do. We still have to come to my office, the three of you, for a good punishment for what you have done. Okay? I'll be expecting you in my office.